Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss about acknowledgements and attributions. Acknowledging acknowledgement plays a very important role because you are going to acknowledge someone who has actually helped you through the process of publishing your research articles or conduction of your research. Maybe the acknowledgement may not be the co-authors or uh, the your guide or supervisor. It can also be the people who are not at all related to your research in technical terms but they are related somehow because when you are doing the research okay many people maybe the lab assistant might have helped you maybe uh, when you are writing thesis your wife or uh, your uh, kids uh, uh, were patiently waiting for you or maybe your parents might have helped you when you are uh, writing your uh, thesis they might have helped you with cooking or something and all whatever it is in moral and ethical aspects to anyone if you would have helped you in your research or in your phd thesis or in your uh, entire journey of uh, the publishing book chapter or book or maybe the author uh, paper or uh, the whole thesis then you have to acknowledge them you have to give a credit to them for example when i publish any my uh, any of my paper then i put a uh, uh, this thing that this particular book has been dedicated to my parents right and then finally then if the next paper is next book is coming then i will write the this book is published i mean dedicated to my family then in some other book i have mentioned that uh, this book is been dedicated to my daughter so like that you can keep on uh, giving the this thing if uh, if i have got uh, many co-authors in my paper in my book then i have mentioned it as this book is dedicated to the families of the authors so that's how uh, you are going to do so this is just a dedication and we are having similarly as an acknowledgement when you write any uh, report or a project report or anything the soon after your certificates and all you will get the acknowledgement in the acknowledgement you do acknowledge your principal you do acknowledgement uh, acknowledge the management i am talking about your engineering level uh, students uh, your ab projects mini and major projects if you see the your report you will come to know that and uh, then you uh, acknowledge your uh, hod then uh, guide and then all the staffs who helped you okay maybe technical and non technical staff or uh, all those people also will can mention and finally you will acknowledge uh, your family your friends and in the end the god also so this is called as something called as acknowledgement this is at the engineering level it's very be generalized but when you go for higher your master thesis you keep on understanding the importance of this acknowledgement and when you go for the phd thesis you will write in each and everyone's name also so and so people have helped me so in, in this particular aspect so i would like to give a credit to them thanks to them all those things that you can mention so the acknowledgement that's itself uh, that's all about this particular topic now let's uh, discuss point by point now the acknowledgement section serves as a platform to express gratitude for the contributions made by the individuals maybe the organization that is maybe your college or university or a research center or maybe funding bodies so if your particular research has been funded by any government agencies like maybe maybe in karnataka we are having vgst vision group of science and technology then we are having dst in central that is uh, department of science and technology dbt department of biotechnology we are having drdo okay we are having cs uh, ftr so there are many other uh, you know what you say the funding agencies are there you can write a proposal to them and your project will be sanctioned and the fund, so many funds will be given and even in my engineer when i was uh, working in my previous institute we had written uh, uh, many projects in that one of the project was been approved for 30 lakhs and all so that's how the things work so this practice practice is common uh, sorry so when specific guidelines are lacking so it can be included at the end of the text or as a footnote but if imagine if you were uh, usually for a uh, acknowledgement usually uh, for research articles we do uh, acknowledge only the research centers for providing their facilities and the funding agencies but when it comes to the books and when it comes to the thesis it's a collective work of many months or when it comes to the phd thesis it's a collective work of almost 4 to 5 or maybe 7 years that's why we will uh, have more acknowledgement in those 
पी एच डी थीसिस और टेक्स्ट बुक्स बिकॉज यू आर नॉट रिटर्न दोज पर्टिकुलर थीसिस ओवर नाइट और मे बी इन विद इन अ मंथ और समथिंग लाइक दैट लो सिग्निफिकेंट अमाउंट ऑफ पेशेंस फ्रॉम यूर फैमिली एंड यूर फ्रेंड्स एंड इट्स इट्स देयर सो यू यू कैन गिव एक्सप्रेस ग्रैटिट्यूड टू डेम ऑल्सो इन यूर थीसिस दैट दे से आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक माई फैमिली फॉर बेरिंग मी विद दिस पर्टिकुलर वाइल राइटिंग दिस पेसिस हु हेल्प मी अल आउट ऑल दो थिंग्स यू कैन राइट Well, it's like a very informal. If the particular publisher has given you, has given you, or university has given you the what you say, the place where exactly how to put an acknowledgement, you can put there only. If it is not mentioned, then you can put in the end. Okay, as a footnote, you can mention. Okay. So next, this practice is common in recognizing those who are responsible and in various uh, aspects or capacities for the completion of the publishable research outcomes. Acknowledgements highlight a relationship among the people, agencies, institutions, and the researchers, as I told you, allowing gratitude for those who may not be included as authors because they are not as authors, but we are still we want to give credit to them because they have helped. so but have contributed to the work acknowledgements can be classified into six categories it can be the moral support the those who are giving moral support i can give you the credit to them i can give gratitude to them i will mention their name or i will just explain their uh, role and i thank them and then financial okay maybe for funding editorial okay for uh, while preparing the manuscripts or preparing the thesis and all institutional when the institution is supporting you in the technical aspects who is helping you with the technical aspects of your research and the conceptual support is the one who has given guided you with the with several concepts so acknowledgements and the attributions are also very important in the publications of the journal or conferences conference papers also not only in the thesis or the reports or the uh, the books but also in papers also it is uh, conference papers and papers also important giving proper credit wherever is due is very important and even when the contribution is minor it should not be neglected even if the lab assistant has helped you for a one day or two days you can give gratitude to him that will surely bring bring the happiness and uh, what is a more uh, Uh, encouragement to that particular uh, star technical non uh, teaching staff or uh, lab assistant so that he can help you more in his future or the upcoming researchers he can help in in, uh, in the wonderful results they can bring in with uh, that kind of you know support so given the importance of the power published authorship is also very important authorship is also very important we cannot simply just uh, if you imagine someone has completely contributed to your research okay and uh, he is eligible for as a co-author but you are not putting him as a co-author that is seriously is not at all a moral or ethical uh, you know uh, morally and ethically it's unacceptable that's why you have to give him as a co-authorship authorship has to be given wherever there are, there is only little little information or little little work or help has been given for them you can give a uh, just up acknowledgement now the reward triangle theory shows a relationship between the citations acknowledgement and authorship so citations acknowledgement and authorship citations whatever the papers we have read we have understood we we felt that this is relevant to my work and i have taken something from them so i am citing them so that is called as citation acknowledgement is whoever helped me while i am doing my research i don't uh, which wh- whom i cannot put as a co-author because they have not much contributed my research but they have helped in several ways that is called as acknowledgement whereas authorship they are involved in my research they also come did my research so that's why they are author we put it as authorship so in engineering research acknowledgements are meant to be the participating technicians okay you can give the acknowledgement to the participant uh, participating technicians our lab technicians who helped you to uh, uh, who, who have decided uh, this particular uh, device has to be turned off at this time but during that time you are in the class you will be in the class you cannot come so you can ask your lab technician to switch it off that is also a simple very simple work but that should not be neglected and if that thing he is keep on doing it definitely he needs uh, you know acknowledgement next the students maybe sometimes most of the time students are helping you out in the laboratory to complete your work and maybe you have assigned your work to them as a project 
they have done the project though they have not got the uh, the result what you have wanted in the end you should don't you only had to make all the things and done but they have initiated something so you can give them as a so acknowledge them but if they contributed really well for your research it's always advisable to give a co authorship for students also next funding agency okay those who are funding in most of the papers in the end you will see especially for open access papers you can mention there the funding agency the research has been funded by so and so agency okay next the grant number institution or anyone who provides scientific inputs shared unpublished results provided equipments or participated in the discussions all these things because when it comes to the uh, this provided equipments uh, we sometimes when we are doing the research we will not be having all the equipments what we need in our laboratory so i will we should uh, for uh, especially i usually used to go for uh, nits and uh, my university for uh, you know the characterization for my phd work so i have country i have acknowledged them in my acknowledgement i have mentioned their uh research centers i mentioned their uh, you know the help whatever they have been provided so that is called as uh, the ethical and moral acknowledging the things okay so that's it and uh, under this only we are having what should be acknowledged and what should not be acknowledged so we will continue in this topic only for 15 15.1 that is every author should know that what should or should not be acknowledged for example author should acknowledge the quotations ideas facts paraphrasing funding organization oral discussion or support laboratory and computer these all things should be acknowledged okay what should be acknowledged these all things can be acknowledged so quotation one by one let's discuss the quotation quotation is a technical writing such as uh, uh, field of engineering quotes uh, which are being uh, used very rarely okay quotations are two types direct quotation is there and indirect quotation is there whereas direct quotation replicates original words with the acknowledgement using the quotation mark okay whereas indirect is not actually uh, a direct quotes it summarizes or a paraphrases requiring acknowledgement with the proper name and as well as the date next scientific or technical guidance so this is actually uh, is maybe the some of your some of your seniors or something and all so authors must acknowledge those who are providing the scientific or technical guidance participating in the discussions or sharing the information for them also you need to give the credit in the acknowledgement now the, the recognition extends to the assistants it can be the assistants who are giving you the contribution i mean giving you the scientific advice or not like a, like a senior giving advice or we can say that so when we were doing this sir it was not coming i guess maybe this this can work so that is also you know scientific uh, technical guidance and then the it can be the students because they are working for you or technicians who contributed experimentally or theoretically to this research work next third uh, we are having funding or grants if the researcher received the grants from any funding agencies as i told you if those funds were used in the work reported in the publication then such support should always be acknowledged by providing full details of the funding program and grant number in the acknowledgement section so one example of the acknowledgement of the grant received is here so this research work was funded is a part of extra mural research funding 2014 17 individual centric of development of science and technology that is tst okay department of science and technology government of india so next uh, fourth one is acknowledging that the results have been presented elsewhere that means when acknowledging that the results have been presented elsewhere that cite the journal if represent presented as an abstract for example for presentations in scientific meetings like conferences or symposia include relevant details such as events name year publication and date imagine i do publish i'm going to publish particular work now but that is been published or what you say uh, been uh, presented in some particular conference in that conference the conference proceedings my abstract will be there i can just quote it here and then i can say that this work has been presented in science so conference okay i can mention that conference name international conference on nanotechnology year 2006 16 location bengaluru the date can be 16 to 7 16 15 17 uh, the april like that so this provides concise acknowledgement of the previous presentation of the results so it will give you the uh, give the this thing that acknowledge that this was presented earlier so next under the 15th this thing only acknowledgements in books and dissertations 
as i told you acknowledgement in books and dissertation is more of a you know, non technical aspect like uh, credit giving credit to the families okay academic staff who are your colleagues the technical staff colleagues institutions family friends all those things will come into picture so these uh, thesis or a dissertation acknowledgement place after the table of contents usually after the table of contents only this will come or more extensive than those of the journals or conferences articles as i told you in journal and conference articles it will be very short whereas uh, only we will mention uh, the article uh, uh, funding agencies and those who helped in the laboratories but in the books and dissertation or thesis we will it will be big huge they allow researchers to express gratitude to all the contributors for example consideration should be given to the order and brief expression okay expression avoiding emotional language so we should avoid emotional language but we should give the proper you know what to say the order okay it should come from the management or the principal or then the to your guide and then the your hod and then your other technical staff then goes to the family like that so consideration should be given uh, to the order so common acknowledgments include the supervisors peers academic staff technical staff colleagues institutions and finally family and friends so sample acknowledgement in the thesis usually i wish to express my sincere this is my phd thesis i have just copy pasted here i wish to express my sincere appreciation appreciation to my supervisor that is professor or dr saida khil ahmed for the useful comments remarks and encouragement throughout this thesis work because she was the one who has given uh who has framed the ideas even though uh, i have worked for my phd in the beginning stage here was the one who has given the push so i am appreciating and giving the high you uh, know top most priority to acknowledge uh, him and then furthermore i wish to express my thanks to the my supervisor or a guide for supervising my phd and then the dr uh, sairus mantaki who actually uh Uh, introducing me to uh, this particular phd topic and for the support along the way he has done so also i like to thank my best friends or you can say the friends who actually helped me in writing the thesis from the draft to the final they were there from the beginning to the end so that's why i uh, i'll be giving the more next my credit to the dr sairus mantaki and bana alke who have shared their pre- you know Previous precious time during the many technical discussions and the labs assist, uh, and also finally the lab assistance given. So I would like to thank my family members, okay, who have supported me throughout this journey in many different ways. So these are the things we are we have to include in the thesis. This is one of the sample acknowledgement. So next topic is dedication or acknowledgements that we will discuss in the next class.